Jonathan Abram is a superstar. He is all over the field making plays. Watching his film right now, I am confident he will be an all pro safety. That is the trajectory he is on. He has caught the attention of NFL analysts, scouts, coaches. He is going to be a force for the Raiders. Now just imagine once he's able to play a full 16 games, go into the off season, train and work on the things that he knows he needs to get better at and then come back. Jonathan Abram is the Raiders best defensive player and it's not close. So what makes a safety like Jonathan Abram special? Well, it's not his speed and it's not his tackling. What makes Jonathan Abram special is his football awareness when he's on the field. Now, although Abram doesn't call the plays, he's like a quarterback. I mean, he'll call a play out before the play even happens. He'll know what's coming. Take this play, for example. Teddy Bridgewater is going to audible in this play and he has this hand signal that he does. Jonathan Abram sees it. He's looking right at Teddy Bridgewater. Now understand, Jonathan Abram has to cover Christian McCaffrey. That is his assignment, so he's not going to leave that. So as the play begins, he's going to follow Christian McCaffrey, who is going to run her out to his right. And it's a quick screen to the left of the field. Now keep in mind, this was with 10 minutes left in the very first quarter. Now I'm going to forward to the third quarter with about eight minutes left. Now in this play, I want you guys to look at Teddy Bridgewater. He's going to make this audible and he's going to make this motion. Jonathan Abram recognizes it. He's seen this before. He knows exactly what's coming. When you watch Jonathan Abram, you see him call this play out. He's saying, here comes the screen. The ball's barely out of the quarterback's hand, and because Jonathan Abrams already called it, the DBs, the linebacker, they're all jumping this. This play has a 0% chance of working. That's what a quarterback does on the back end for a defense. Jonathan Abram is special, in my opinion. I want to get into a few more plays of Abrams. So the next play I want to show you guys is the second play of the game against the New Orleans Saints. Jonathan Abram almost intercepts the pass, but he doesn't. Now just breaking this play down, this is a cover three, which means Abram has the deep third right in the middle. Arnett and Mullen have the deep thirds on the outsides. Eric Harris and Marcus Joyners pretty much have anything short to the outside. And the two linebackers have the soft zone right behind them. Now Drew Brees pre-snap is going to assume this is either a cover three or it's a cover one man to man. So Drew Brees knows that the weak point of a cover three is right behind the linebackers. And with Jared Cook running a crossing route, should be no problem. But what he doesn't expect is he doesn't expect Jonathan Abram to see that, to know that Drew Brees is not going to take the deep inside post. Instead, he knows that Drew Brees is gonna wanna throw it short. Jonathan Abram reads it on the first pass that Drew Brees throws and almost intercepts the ball. You can see that Jonathan Abram is visibly pissed off that he did not intercept that pass, and that's okay, right? To me, the important part is the fact that he's able to read and understand the concept, his football awareness, his natural ability took him to Jared Cook and not the inside post. Moving on, I want to talk a little bit about Abram's hitting ability as well as the energy he brings and how that kind of pumps people up. Take this interception from Nicholas Morrow against the Saints. The second Nicholas Morrow intercepts the pass, Jonathan Abram has his eyes set on Traquan Smith of the Saints. He is going to decleat this wide receiver. Traquan Smith looks directly at Jonathan Abram and turns his body. He does not want any of it. But that's the type of energy that Jonathan Abram brings. He's not scared. In week one, he had a huge hit on Christian McCaffrey. Like it was a huge hit. Like you can hear the sound. He got up pumped up and that's the kind of stuff that motivates a team. You know, last year against the Denver Broncos in the first game of the season, the only game Abram played last year on one of the first few drives, he had a huge hit on the running back. That's the kind of stuff that gets a defense going. It pumps the defense up. I want to talk about two plays against the New Orleans Saints. A lot of you guys probably didn't see these plays. But these are tone setting plays and these are the types of things that I absolutely love. Alvin Kamara is going to catch this pass and he's going to head towards the sideline thinking that he's going to just run out of bounds. Jonathan Abram is going to deliver a hit and then he's going to let Alvin Kamara know that you just got hit by the Jonathan Abram. It's not a huge deal when you look at the scheme of things, but Kamara has to think, you know, next time I'm going to run, try to get that extra yard and then run out of bounds. If Jonathan Abram's around, he's going to hit me. So I might not be able to get that extra yard. Instead, I might have to run out of bounds. Tone setting plays, right? These are the types of things that absolutely matter. Take this second play, for example. If you track Jonathan Abram, after the pass is completed, the wide receiver on the screen is going to try to block Jonathan Abram. Jonathan Abram is going to be running at full speed and he is going to lay the wood on this wide receiver that tries to block Jonathan Abram. That's a tone setting play. 
because this wide receiver will not try to block Jonathan Abram next time because Jonathan Abram just laid his ass out. Jonathan Abram does so many things off camera that you guys might not see. And this is how identities are built for defenses. To sum everything up, I believe Jonathan Abram will be an all pro safety and will be regarded as one of the best safeties in the league. That is my prediction for Abram. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does make a difference. The YouTube algorithm picks up the thumbs up and they will then recommend that video to more people. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. I will have a ton more videos for you guys. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Enjoy the game on Sunday and I'll see you guys next time with another video.